This Sports Blitz podcast is brought to you by LMG. Grow your business through logo design, paper products, and video production. Visit leemarketing.net to learn more. He's got all millions of dollars, and right. you don't need to work, but it's so, it's so amazing how many that are driven. I mean, if you're competitive, you're competitive. You don't right. just decide at 36 years old, which is still a young person, but old in athletics a lot of times. Hey, I'm just going to sit around at the house and do nothing. Right. You want to go be an investment banker. You want to go be some kind of, uh, uh, you know, business person. Or if nothing world. else, that kind of guy, especially if he's got the cash, he's made the cash yeah. professionally, he wants to accomplish something. He doesn't want something out there lingering. He, oh, yeah. he's, he's got another 12 hours. I'm going to accomplish that, and I'm going to acquire that degree. That's right. You know, because it is. Mm. You know, it is a, it's an accomplishment to... Uh, to go through and and uh, uh, receive your degree, you know, a a Cam did not want to leave that out there. Bo didn't want to leave that out That's there. Right. Those guys, you know, they they've got. There are a lot of guys now on tour um, that may have left in their junior years um, this this week up at the Memorial at Columbus. And you were there. And it was a yeah tremendous experience. But and we'll get to that. But this one fellow that won the same award as my player. Um, he's leaving as, after his junior year turning pro, and he plays for Stanford. Mm -hmm. He's the number one player amateur in the world right now, and he said, I am going to come back and get my degree. Well, absolutely. Right now, I've got to, while the fire's hot, i got to go make some money. You know, absolutely. you don't... You don't know when it's going to be gone. You don't harvest in February, That's right? That's exactly right. <laughs> so, so he, and, and you know, it might be, it might be a, uh, a great, great plan for him. Whoever said that you need to go to school from the age of six to 23, it worked out really well for that guy. Mm -hmm. But this this young man, he may get his degree at well, the age of 40, and that'll work out for him. Well, he's got something that a lot of people don't have, and it's a special talent. Exactly. Uh, it's funny you mentioned Cam Newton because he tweeted a picture and put on Instagram about two weeks ago of him studying. He's back at Auburn in the summers, and he's mm -hmm. studying and got his books laid out and said, you know, you know, fulfilling my agreement, you know, exactly. with my mom and myself to get my education. And Cam Newton's on top of the world right now. He's he's probably the most high-profile NFL player out there. He, he's up against uh, another player in the in Richard Sherman uh, for the the cover of the new PlayStation game. The, it's the not going to make a nickel's Madden. difference in his life's income. No, it's it? not. And no. I mean, and he could just be off buying cars and traveling the world during the off season. Instead, he's grinding away with books. That that should be your motivation out there for 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 anybody that that is pursuing whatever they're pursuing, is to stay the course and finish your deal. Alexi right. Lawless, Alexi Lawless, the professional soccer player, just finished his degree from Rutgers. He's been out of soccer for years. It's very he's cool. An, you know, an analyst for ESPN on the World Cup stage, and he got his degree from Rutgers this past weekend. So I mean. That, to me, those are the stories we don't talk about enough. Right, right. Well, I'm wondering if Rutgers is going to make that top number that you guys were talking about earlier. Ah, you know, those kind of things. Well, uh, it depends on if you're in the conference. Uh, look, <laughs> yeah, and, and, that's going to be know, crazy. Yeah, and before we talk about Tim, I know we want to talk to you about several things, about the memorial and all. Your take on what Luke and I were talking about, because that's kind of where the show centered around, is, uh, you know, this is going to be an issue that, that these FCS schools are going to have to deal with. They're not – they're going to be cut out because of the way the new system is, the Division One playoff. Right. This committee is going to look at strength of schedule. If you got these teams that are even, you got six teams up there that are undefeated, what's going to set you apart from those other teams? And it's going to come down to who did you play. Did, did you play ten really tough opponents out of 12? Or did you play eight tough opponents out of twelve, and you play four cupcakes? And if right, and if if you're both undefeated, obviously it's just kind of like hiring somebody in the business world, Dave. Mm -hmm. You know, if you got this candidate, and this candidate over here, and both of them are great, you got to find something that's going to separate. You can't hire both of them. Right. Well, I, I'm just what I'm I'm afraid of is, you know, because this is going to span all of the sports it, at their school. There's no doubt. Augusta State, where. Jay Sewell is a coach at Alabama. He coached at Augusta State, and they won nationals twice. Um, well, they won nationals uh, three times. They won nationals with him, and they won nationals with his um, uh, the coach that followed him. Mm -hmm. But are they out? Well, shoot, I guess so. Um, also, these these programs, these colleges and universities that have been 
have been fortunate enough to play Alabama, play Auburn, and they have built these facilities expecting the future. These guys coming to visit, right? How are they going to maintain these facilities? I don't know, and that's I that's mean, a problem. And I know I know Luke made a point. It's not Ohio State and Florida State and Alabama and Auburn's job to keep these schools up. They, you know, and, and I understand that point. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's kind of like, you know, Troy's motto: "We'll play you anytime, right. anywhere, any, you know, any." And and now it's kind of like you you got them, and their expectations are here, and you pull it away. Look, I, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. It's unfortunate is, right. is probably the best term for it. But they're going to have to, and FCS schools need to need to, to group now. And they need to come up with a way that they're going to handle this because this is coming. Right. And they don't need to turn their head and go, well, maybe that, maybe that ain't going to happen because Florida has already come out. Will Muschamp has already come out and said, we are not going to schedule an FCS school. Mm -hmm. They're not going to do it. So if, if that's the case, then – other schools are going to follow, and other right. conferences are going to follow, and that's going to happen. So FCS schools need to prepare themselves for this storm coming. Well, you know what else is going to happen, I'm afraid? Um, you know, when you get an SEC team playing an SEC team, there are injuries all over the field. Well, if they double that, how many times they're playing it? There, there's going to be injuries well, like we won't believe it. He was talking about depth. depth. Luke, He's going to have to He have was going to talk depth. about depth, but I don't give – if it's if it is really down to the wire, who who is the coach going to put in? He's going to put in his his top players, right? Because mm -hmm. he got like Luke said, yeah. you, you got to win. We're going to take a break. We'll come back one more segment with head golf coach Cent uh, at Central Alabama Community College, Dave Jennings, and uh, talk about uh, one of his players this year winning the National Player of the Year in junior college. A tremendous honor. Uh, we'll talk about that and his uh, trip up to the Memorial this past weekend on the PGA Tour. Stay tuned. More Sports Blitz Live presented by JR's and SNS Tire right after this. 